This video is sponsored by Blair's Wire Bonsai Trees. For unique and personalized pieces of beauty and artwork, check out the link in the description and use coupon code BeastlyGamer for 10% off your order. What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about Batman Arkham Knight and its impending re-release on PC. Now it took me a while to get Batman Arkham Knight. It was a game that I wanted to play, but as a lot of my subscribers know, I have a ton of games that I've never even played. So I've taken it up on myself this year at least to kind of slow down until I get around to playing new games before I start buying more. So Friday, it's Sunday now, Friday I bought two new games. I bought Batman Arkham Knight, which I have still not played, and I bought Until Dawn, the uh, cinematic horror movie slash game experience. I've been playing Until Dawn because that's one I really wanted to play. I've gotten about seven hours in, I'm really enjoying it, and I'm going to be going to Batman next, but I want to give you guys this news on the Batman Arkham Knight PC re-release. Now for the people who don't know, the PC version of the game did release at the same time as the console brothers, but the PC version was absolutely broken. People were unable to play the game, it was glitchy, it was a terrible mess. Animations, everything were tore up. So they decided to take, to take it off Steam until further notice, Warner Brothers did, until the developer, the PC developer was able to get the game streamlined and in line with the console brothers of the game. I'll drop a link in the description. The PC version of Batman Arkham Knight, which was riddled with bugs at launch in June and subsequently removed from the, from sale, will return to Steam on October 28th, Warner Brothers has announced. Quote, at 10 a.m. Pacific, October 28th, Batman Arkham Knight will be re-released for the PC platform. At the same time, we'll also be releasing a patch that brings the PC version fully up to date with the content that has been released for consoles, with the exception of console exclusives, of course. This means that next week, all PC players will have access to Photo Mode, Big Head Mode, Batman Arkham Asylum Batman Skin, and Character Selection and Combat AR Challenges, end quote. People who bought the Arkham Knight DLC Pass will get instant access to all add-on content released since launch. This includes numerous AR challenges, racetracks, skins, and more. Quote, we want to give particular thanks to the members of the PC community who took the time to give us clear, detailed feedback and bug reporting, end quote. Now get out there and be the Batman. That's what uh, a representative from Warner Brothers says. I think, what do I think about this? I don't think the game should be the same price, that's for sure, for people who had to wait all this time to get the game. Uh, I think they should throw in something for free for the people who actually decided to, to hold off until the, the real release of the game. People who are big Batman fans who want the best experience on PC had to wait for what, two months? Two and a half months? Just to get the game. I don't think it should be full price. I think that Warner Brothers should show a sign of good faith to its consumers that actually had to wait. Because honestly, they're the ones who lost out. Everybody else got to play the game, beat the game, review the game, and for hardcore PC gamers, that was not possible unless you played a broken, diminished version of the game. I think that if a developer screws up something, that it's the onus is on them to prove to you that they want your loyalty, they want your money. In a situation like this where Batman was broken and just basically unplayable on PC release and it took all this time for the developer to get it right for PC, something should be done on behalf of the consumer. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you did enjoy it, give a thumbs up and show support of the channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.